Hey everyone, on this video, I'd like to talk about how we're going to use Office Lens to upload our work from paper onto Microsoft Teams. So first things first is that on your phone or your tablet, you're going to need to download the app Office Lens. Once you have it downloaded and installed, you want to go ahead and open up the app for the first time. Accept any of the permissions that come up because we're going to need to be able to take photos with this app. Once you go through that, we see we have a little tutorial. We don't need to really worry about that. We just want to hit start scanning. We can close the privacy option. And now we're ready to scan. You here, you can see some work that I made um, just as a practice run for this app. Now, before we go ahead and use this app, we want to actually go on to our settings up here in the upper right corner. There's three dots. Open that up, hit the settings button, and you want to make sure that you are signed into your Microsoft account for the school. The same login, the same password that you use daily, that's what you're going to use to log into this account. So be sure that you have logged into that account. Actually, let's do this. I'll sign out so I can show you guys how to sign in. All right, now I'm going to show you how to add an account. So you just hit the add an account button. You want to hit the orange sign in button. And here you want to enter in your school email address. So I have my school email address entered. I go ahead and hit the blue arrow. It has to think for a second. And then you guys are going to be prompted into entering your password. I don't have to enter in my password because I have other Microsoft apps already on my phone. So after we've done that, I'm going to hit the back arrow and we are ready to scan this page. Now you can see as you hold your phone directly above the page, you see that you have an orange bar kind of trying to map out the page that we're taking a photo of. So once that is set in the middle of the frame, I'm gonna go ahead and snap my photo. Okay, and once it's snapped, you actually have a chance to adjust the border. So I can see in my upper left corner here, maybe I can bring that in a little bit because I don't need to get the desk in there. And you can, again, adjust these margins so you can get what you want on the page. Once we got that picture done, we want to hit confirm. We can see our work is there. Now, if you have multiple pages like I do, the next thing you want to do is you want to hit the add button in the bottom left corner. You're going to hit add, and now I'm going to turn my page to my next set of problems. Again, I want to hold the phone directly above the page, and then I'm going to take my photo. Now, you can see here, that this time when I took the photo, oh, actually it worked out well. It looked like that orange border was out of the page, but again, it's gonna crop it for you. And I really like how this looks, so I'm gonna hit confirm. And now I'm ready to go ahead and upload this to my OneDrive. So you see down here, I have the two photos selected here. Once I have those selected, I can hit the orange arrow button. And I can see that this is my first photo with my first three problems. There's my second photo with my second problems. Now that I'm done here, I could, if I wanted to, hit the more button, I could adjust the crop, I could rotate it, I could add some filters if I needed to, but I like the way both of these photos look. So now I can hit the orange done button. And now here's what we wanna do. Before we send this off into the cloud, we wanna first change the title of this document. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this guy classwork. Uh, number one. Let's say this was the first classwork assignment. Now I don't want to save it to the gallery. I don't need it saved to my phone. Instead, I'm going to uncheck that and I'm going to check the box that says PDF. I want to send this to my OneDrive. It's going to go into the cloud for us and then we'll be able to access it from our computer. So I want to save it as a PDF. I'm now going to hit this orange save button. And now that I've done that, you see that it's waiting to transfer. As we wait for it to transfer, once it's done, it's done. Now we can go and jump to our computer screen and we'll be able to see this document in our OneDrive. So I'm gonna go ahead now and switch from my phone back to my computer. All right, now that I'm back on my computer, I now wanna go ahead and log into my locker. And once I'm on my locker, I can go over here to where it says OneDrive. I can click on OneDrive. It'll take a second to load up the application. It's gonna sign me in. And once I'm signed in, I can see that there's now a folder here that's called Office Lens. I can click on that folder and inside that folder, I can see my document here is saved from what we just uploaded from our phone, okay? So, and if you notice, I see the first three problems here. I can now scroll down 
and this is one single document saved as a PDF, no longer um, just two photos, okay? Now, I do notice here that it didn't actually rename it. I did want it to rename it, but it looks like it didn't rename. And if that happens to you, all you have to do is click these three dots, go down here to rename, and now I can rename this classwork number one, okay? Now, let's hop over to Teams. I'm gonna go back to my locker. I'm gonna open up the Teams browser. Once Teams loads, uh, I can use the web app, that's okay. Now what you wanna do is, in your team, for our class, you wanna go to Assignments. You're gonna wanna click on the Do You Remember page. And when you get here to Student View, you're gonna wanna click here on My Work, the link that's here and then you're gonna have the option of using the file that's already in your OneDrive. All right guys, I hope this helped it clear up how to use Office Lens, and I'll see you on the next video.